All right, one more set of Masters Battle before we end the stream today. Time, to set, time for set four in Stargazer Coliseum. Bring back the team that we used in set one. Senior Emma. Ooh, master class, Ava. All right, let's see what you have. All right, is this four times weaknesses the team? Mantine Sport of to Electric, Toxicroak to Psychic, Quagsire to Grass, Scissor to Fire, Bastion onto Fighting and Ground, and Weave out to Fighting. There's a bunch of four times weaknesses in this team. So let's use some of those four times weaknesses. What? Why don't we? Stargazer Coliseum, Masters Battle, Set 4. Here we go. The battle is about to begin. Both corners are full of energy, so we're sure to see... It's unlikely that it's coincidence that there's a bunch of 4 times weaknesses. I don't see how that would be a strategic advantage to them. But maybe it was a theme that the creators of the game were going for. And potentially a lot of these Pokemon hold things like the Oka Berry to weaken the super effective fire moves on Scizor. Or the Rindo Berry to weaken super effective Which grass Pokemon moves on Quagsire. Move. Let's find out. Heat Wave. Does Scizor have the Oka Berry? The stage is set and the curtain is up. A small hit. It either missed or there's an Oka Berry. There is the Oka Berry. I was right. It hit two Pokemon at once. That dealt so Nearly enough to take him out. Two. Ah! Didn't think about that one. Should have faked out that one. On. Luckily, I focus Ash. Um, and I Scissor because this game was created when Diamond and Pearl were out and not when Platinum was out. Scissor caught a Bullet Punch, but it might still have Quick Attack. I do think I want to go for um, Seed Bomb on Quagsire though, because how useful that is. And then hope that Heat Wave hits Scissor. Looks like it. There we go. Scissor gone. A bit more damage on Quagsire, so... That plus the Faco damage dealt earlier. Should be enough for Seed Bomb. Rindo Berry? Yep, Rindo Berry. That makes it very likely that the rest use the super effective berries as well, and that, that for this team it was decided on a theme as opposed to as opposed to maybe a big move combination that works well in double battles. Just have good Pokemon with the good moves that but hold with certain things. Like so Weavile's only four times a week to fighting. Now Bastion on the, is that as well, but Bastion's also four times a week to ground, so that Bastion probably has the berry for ground, the shook berry, while well, Weevil has a chopple berry for fighting. Then electric is the Wakan berry. Yeah. I don't know if Protect and Zapdos, but this is pretty inviting. Don't use Protect. X is it's faster than yeah, yeah, I was thinking of um Soccer Punch. A man time to deal some damage there. Wouldn't have done huge damage, but it would, have, it would have dealt good damage, maybe like near half or around half, depending on its on how it was trained. But I felt confident enough to try something else. Weevil is fast, it is very strong, so it's useful Pokemon in competitive battling. But defensively, it is somewhat frail, it is an ice type, so that already comes with a lot of weaknesses. Uh, yeah, as I said, it is pretty frail. Fire moves, fighting moves used against it will do a, a lot of damage. So you can take it out pretty quickly. So life orb could be really useful for it, considering you can expect it to mostly go first and then to hit really hard, and then to life orb helps hit hit it hit others really hard or even harder. 
or you can put a focus ash on it to make sure it survives this one turn because it is pretty likely that it's taken to lower health and one HP. I'm gonna switch Zapdos because of how useful the electric moves are against Mantine. The blue corner calls their and a little damage heat wave will deal. Inferno can't deal that much damage anyway because it only has Flare Blues in close combat, it has big damage moves, and then it has Machma to protect. So even if it, if it gets taken out by like a Hydro Pump here, which it won't because the Mantle's already down, I wouldn't mind it that much, but getting Thunderbolt back on Zapdos would be a lot more useful for the battle. So that's why I made the switch. The results are in! The blue corner has won the game! I thought I conquered my weakness. Looks to me like that was indeed the theme based on that as well. Alright, battle two. Masterclass Caden. Is this a Clefable with Toxic Orb and Magic Art then? Pretty sure there was at least one Clefable that had it. Hmm. Shifter with Fake Out is often a good opening. I don't see that many Pokemon that are special moves. Maybe Bronzong, maybe Floatzel, but Floatzel more physical as well. It's Bronzong, Rotom, so I don't think I need UXC. Infernate might be really useful. Vaporeon. Zapdos. Zapdos is very useful. Aerodactyl. And I do think Infernate. are so full of energy that there's no doubt this will be a great battle. If it is Focus Ash, I want to hit it with Fake Out and Thunderbolt. If it doesn't, Fake Out will fail. Thunderbolt Star Hunter. So far, I've often used Heat Wipe because it was useful against being super effective. Ooh, follow me. Okay, that's a good move. That makes Fake Out still deal damage, but it doesn't stop Follow Me from working because that goes before Fake Out even. And that lets Star up to survive. That is a good move. A I don't get taken out because of my focus ash. I'm very happy with the focus ash and shift tree. It'll still do good damage to Star Raptor because of Brave Bird. But this is bad. Wait, the thing is, if I use Sucker Punch on Star Raptor, that could be great. Okay, this is not the Toxic Orb one. But that could be great on Star Raptor. But Follow me still goes before Sucker Punch, which means Sucker Punch will then target the Fable, and then one because they move first, and two because they use status move. Sucker Punch won't do a thing. I'm going to try it because if Follow Me is successful, Star is going to take out Shiftry anyway. So might as well try. Either they don't use Follow Me, or maybe they get paralyzed, and then I'll try Thunderbolt as well. I would like to use Discharge now, knowing that they have the Follow Me strategy, but I can't do that because it's choice specs. So I'll just go with Thunderbolt on Star Raptor. But it's very likely going on Clefable instead. And then I'll just take out Clefable. The move fails. So there goes Shift Tree. Nail. My opponent takes the lead. I don't have a team with a follow me strategy. I might think about that for my next team, because I do like to have a big variety in Pokemon teams. And with the big challenges in the Masters battle available, I have a good to think about that. Think about different strategies and use them competitively against different levels of how good they are. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to stand on Infernip because that's weak to flying. I use two things that are that resist flying. They're both flying types themselves, but they're just flying because of the other types, electric and rock, respectively. Heracross, that is weak to flying. In terms of the number of remaining okay, so flying on the thing is weak to flying, and then the electric move on the other flying. 
Terra! Got the battle! Cool, bro. I was thinking that Sky Attack missed, because it can't miss, it has 90% accuracy, but. Yeah. Good enough power plus stab, still super effective. Good enough. Takes down the Heracross, nice. We take the lead. Star Raptor. Keep using Brave Bird, must have a choice band then. Otherwise, it would have used like Return, Double Edge, something like that, but it's stuck on Brave Bird, so it might have choice band. That might be there. Follow me, and then just hit really hard with Brave Bird, which is its strongest move. But now, that's down as well. Suddenly, even though they had the lead before, 4 to 3. Now it's 3 to 1. We have the lead, and they have a float, so that is very, very weak to Thunderbolt. Rock Slide first, though. Fierce blow, such amazing power. The red corner cannot move. Thunderbolt. By Thunderbolt. And that's how we it went from a wow, that's our after's pretty dangerous down. moment to yeah, we won. Still three Pokemon Eight in good health. So Zep has got some blue corner, pretty good damage for victory. it being a flying move that hit it. We got through the fight. Two more. Magician's Apprentice Carrot. Even though it's, it's not Masterclass anymore, it's not Magician's Apprentice. Ooh, do you know who's coming up then? This looks to me like a Sandstorm team. With Hippowdon and five Pokemon that don't take damage from Sandstorm. Luminion being the only one that does. So, grass moves from Shifter seem very useful, so Fake Out plus just the option to use Seed Bomb is very great here. Ram Probo Pass is the only one that isn't weak to grass, so it's still typing. I can use Vaporeon, because four of them are weak to water, just Gastrodon that isn't. Um, Aerodactyl. Might be weak to some of them if they use rock moves. The water moves from Gaster and Luminion. But it has Aqua Tail. Earthquake potentially for things like Rampardos. Probo Pass. And then maybe Zapdos. Decided against Hidden Power Ice, so you can't hit Hippowdon as hard as you maybe would want. But Thunderbolt can hit hard on Luminion. So Thunderbolt hits hard on things that aren't called Gash and Golem and Powered on. I think they mostly use physical moves. I don't think Infernape will be useful much because Kajing, a lot of them can use moves that are super effective against Infernape. So this is what we'll go with. I think the last time we used Vaporeon was against Joe in set one. Now we're in the semi-final of set four. Let's go. Shift three for Porion. Both corners are full of energy, so we're sure to see a great battle. The stage is Fake set out. and the curtain is up. A light hit. That's a lot less damage than the fake up from Ambi Pom. Break, break. It's going to be good damage, especially from Rampardo's really high attack stat. But even if it would have been able to take me out, I had the Focus Sash. Hydro Pumper! Storm Drain drains it towards Luminion. That's a Luminion there to draw in the water moves. Okay. Make it immune to it, which is good for us. Ah, I thought I would be faster. Part of this is too fast. It couldn't take it. It's down. I thought it was part of the shifter. The shifter Luminion isn't all that fast bounce. itself. Bounce. It's a fish. This is one of fish bounce. Huh. Tell me how they bounce. Also, Rampardos has a 58 base speed. Shifty is 80. 
Does that thing have choice scar for something? Because I do have speed investment. I'm adamant, but I have speed investment. There has to be a choice scar for that Rempar does. Which means Zapdos is going to really attack hard here. Zapdos is sent out. Well, both corners still have a chance to win this. What kind of developments can we expect to see next? That would be near Rampardos. Yeah, it looks like a choice scarfer. <laughs> Even outspeed Zapdos. Zapdos starts to attack. But the target Pokemon is bouncing around. Of course it's the bouncing because missed. that's what the move fails. Which means a Hydro Bomb is now going into Luminion. But it missed anyway. Because why not? Okay, now please hit the Luminion. That would be appreciated. And considering Rampardos keeps using Brick because it's like the choice scarf, I'm actually just going to use Wish. I'm not too afraid of it now. Would have been way more afraid of Rock Slide. Would have been Hand Smash. Alright, we're back to 3 3, He's both of 3 Pokemon. Vaporeon uses its move. Golem Next Pokemon is, is Golem. The blue corner even up the amount of remaining Pokemon, despite well, being at a I'm sure I expect into Thunderbolt, so use that on Rampardos. And then Hydro Pump on Golem. But if that is a Focus Sash one, we might have a cut step very later. Hit. You can learn Sucker Punch, actually. I remember having a explosion, sucker punch, stone edge earthquake golem in tournament at one point. Jet four. By Thunderbolt. And Pardos goes down to Thunderbolt. Blow. So that gives us the lead. Hydro Pumper. By hydro pump. No focus ash and sturdy Take doesn't work the way it does in Gen 5 and later close. in Gen 4 because it works that way in Gen 5 and later and 4 isn't 5 or later because then it's Four called before five. Counting, teacher out. Sort of. If Powdon is sent out. Speaking of teaching, I'm happy I can get going again in well, just over two weeks. I can finally teach again. Really excited what about that. Because Zapdos now? needs to switch here. Because it literally cannot hit Hippowdon. Sure, I give them a turn to hit Aerodactyl, but. Actually, if Aerodactyl really needed to not get that potential hit from Hippowdon or a Hippot, then no, then I wouldn't have switched. Then I would just let Vaporeon um, do the attack the and something sit there. Uh, this is uh, very likely. Hippowdon isn't really a Pokemon that sets up with things like Swords Dance, Dragon Dance, or a lot. If, if it would be single battle against Hippowdon against Zapdos, then it would have absolutely switched. Because otherwise, it could just. Do whatever it wants to, assuming it can do more than just Earthquake. To Zapdos, and if it was like a Dragon Dance Pokemon, then we could have set that up as well. So that's why I definitely want to switch in that situation. Zapdos' the best move against Hippowdon. Heat Wave maybe could burn. Hidden Power is flying, so that would be 90 power against, or the 100, but not full accuracy of the Heat Wave. The move nope, can't just missed. Hydro Pump! There we go. Defensively trained, but Hydro Pump is still very strong. Originally, the plan was just to have Surf on it, but I didn't want that for the double battle. The game is now over. So I went with Hydro Pump instead. Has won the game. That was battle 3 1. We've seen Joe. We've seen Sashay. We've seen Krieger. But there's no real Colosseum Masters after that. Or, or, or is there? This trainer was a Magician's Apprentice, so... The finale in set 4 is against... Mysterial, the Master of Masters! And here we get serious. Lucario, strong. Meganium, pretty strong. Snorlax, strong. Azelf, legendary. Garchomp, pseudo-legendary. Dialga, Mythical Pokemon. 
We're getting real serious here. How are we going to deal with this fight? The Infernape can hit everything except Garchomp and Azov super effectively, so it's a likely good move to open with Infernape. Orion's likely to be useful, especially against Garchomp. Not as much against the rest, though. Aerodactyl seems like a good Pokemon to use. Uxie, I don't know if they use special moves, then yeah. But I shouldn't just think offensively in what I can deal. Uxie being able to set up the light screen can be really, can really be key, and they likely don't have too much against Uxie to go with it Im immediately. Some of them can be mixed. Dialga potentially, Lucario, as is more likely to be special. Look, this will be. Garchomp has a lot better physical stats. Snorlax, Meganium could be support, could be a bit of special moves. Could even throw in a physical like Body Slam Sebo. Um, if you want the ice move for Garchomp, we need more. I just think this is set four. There's set 8 as well. Mysterial there is a lot harder to defeat, so that'll be something with this team. I'm looking forward to that. Um, if they don't use Garchomp, I want Aerodactyl. If they do use Garchomp, I think Vaporeon. I'm going for Vaporeon. Shifting Infernape open. Not Yuxi, even though Light Screen setup would be awesome. So if there's a switch early on and one of them gets taken out early, it's likely it'll switch into Yuxi. But I think that with four of their Pokemon being weak to Infernape, having Infernape out first is good. And Shifter is just generally a good Pokemon to open with because of, because of Fake Out and letting the other Pokemon do something cool. Oh, Dialga. Let's see. Shifter can hit Snorlax decently well. Not Dialga, so I want Inferno to hit Dialga. I'm more afraid of Dialga. But the thing they might still use protective stuff, so. I want Inferno to hit Dialga. I think I'll fake us on this. The battle begins! Okay, no protect from them. I was fearing protect. That's why I didn't. Otherwise, I would have faked out Dialga. But I guess if Dialga did use protect and using fake on a Snorlax, it's still very good. Instant KO. I didn't expect that to be instant, but I'll take it. Nice. That was a very good opening, man. Considering Snorlax can't move, I would have expected Dialga to be able to hold off. Wait. They use Dialga, not Palkia. Actually, Mysterial's team that he uses in set 4 and set 8, so not at the end of uh, the first time in Stargames comes in, but just in set 4 and set 8, depends on the game you get your Pokemon from. And I'm pretty sure that... Well, Diamond gives you, I believe, the Dialga team. Pearl gives you the Palkia team. Hard. Gold and Soul Silver are one of the other as well, and I want to say that Platinum gives you the Dialga team. And I got my stuff from Platinum, so I think that's why I got the Dialga team. And here it's just a team with the Dialga. It's going to be like you'll see the. Th it has a theme in set 8, a very clear theme. And I feel like the Palkia team is more dangerous than the Dialga team, but you'll see when we get there. It'll be a while before we get there. Alright, let's see what we want to do. I think I'm going to hit the Meganium with Flare Blitz. I want to take out Snorlax, actually, but I can hit Snorlax decently hard with Seed Bomb. I can just hit Flare Blitz on Meganium to keep dealing really big damage. Even if Inferno gets taken out after its recoil damage and the fact that its defense has already got lowered by close combat, it's already taken out two Pokemon in one shot. That's just Infernum's power plus stab, plus the fact that I'm pretty sure I made an adamant nature, full attack investment, plus life orb. That's maybe that life orb helped against Dialga as well. 
decent damage to Snorlax. Actually, that's a little more than I expected on Snorlax. Because Body Slam. With the defense drop, that's. Yeah, that's enough to take out the Infernape. And Infernape has done really well taking out both Meganium and the Dialga. So it's Shiftry, plus two others against Snorlax and one other. And I think I have an idea of what I want to do. And it actually means I'll use Vaporeon instead of Uxie. Which I said I might use. I have a plan. And this time it's not just like in the Little Cup video that you might have seen two videos ago. Or it's a temptation. I think here it's actually the best strategy. Sucker Punch and Azov might be really useful as well and then we take a Snorlax differently, but... I haven't used a strategy yet, and I think this is the best way to give a good chance of victory. Orion protects. Pretty sure my Focus Sash is still alive? It is, yes. Don't get burned, because otherwise the house might out damage I'd put. Doesn't. Explosion. Azelf is down. And that came from full health. Orion doesn't get damaged. And Snorlax, which is at about half health. We'll get hit by the explosion as well. Which is gonna be huge damage. Shift tree with the explosion. So it's a 2 0 victory, but a 3 0 because Shift tree does take itself out. But it's victory nonetheless. Shift tree takes two out. Fake out plus seed bump plus explosion on Snorlax. Just explosion on Azelf. And Inferno picks up Meganium and the Alga. And win. Master's Battle, set four. As I did say, we're not quite done yet. There are four more sets of Master's Battle to go. The difficulty is only going to increase, and it's going to increase rapidly. So this is going to be the final time we go through this Coliseum, this stream. I'm going to end off the stream here, and those on YouTube, I will be back with Battle Revolution pretty soon. But if you want to see these things happen live on Twitch, there's a link in the description to take you to my Twitch channel. I stream there almost every day, sometimes even multiple times a day, and I stream Pokemon once, sometimes twice a week, with Battle Revolution at the moment, a very likely candidate to be used in those Pokemon streams. And let's watch the credits, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.
Huge pots, 4,800. That's amazing. Yeah, that will be the end of this stream today. Thank you very much for watching, staying with me through all my adventures in Battle Revolution. I enjoyed having you here, I enjoyed chatting with you. And see you all in the next stream tomorrow. Goodbye.